Welcome to Tech Talk with Koenig Equipment. I'm Curtis Schiff. Today we're going to talk about how to manage guidance lines in an operations center. Let's get to it. To manage guidance lines in an operations center, we'll go under Setup from the map and select Land. Next, across the top, we'll select the Guidance header. And then I would suggest going to Table View so you can see all of your lines. I can see in total, I have 217 guidance tracks for all of my fields. This overview in the table is really nice. You can scroll through all the lines and look for lines that potentially may need archived if they're named one, two, three, A, B, C, et cetera. So if you find some lines in your list here that you don't like how they're named and you know they're no good, you can simply select those lines and then come up and archive those to get rid of them for the future. If you wanna jump into an individual field or see where a certain line is at, you can go to the fields tab at the top, search for the field you would like to share, then once in that field, you can select the guidance header at the top, and then I would suggest going to the right and selecting the map view. You will be able to see all the lines in that field. So in this example, there are four guidance tracks in this field. I can see what they are all named, and then if I select each line, it will show me where that line is at in the field to help me determine if it is a good track or not. If I want to rename lines to make them a little more descriptive, I can simply select those, go to the track name, make any updates, and then save. If I have fields that may be side by side and I would like to use the same guidance track for both of those fields, if they run parallel to each other, you can simply select a line and copy that line to another field. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Talk with Koenig Equipment. For more how-tos, visit the customer training section on our Koenig Equipment mobile app. See you next time.